hello guys once again you are welcome back good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day today is 28 december 2020 and um, we have just few days uh, to make it into 2021 so let me use this opportunity and wish you guys a happy new year ahead all right so still talking about issues what is going on in nigeria especially the insecurity part of it all right and um let me just give you a recap about 800 coronavirus had been confirmed as at yesterday uh 27 december 2020 so um lockdown will be imposed very soon just like what kemi oluloyan said that her boyfriend in asuro gave us some kind of hint uh, that there will be a total lockdown in nigeria okay all the state and all the cities so um i really don't know if the government is ready uh to face the challenges because hunger will kill many like serious Looking at the situation we have on ground, and if there will be another lockdown, then, well, I don't know what to say at this point in time. Okay, so talking about the insecurity aspect, I'm coming all the way from the southeast, talking about the Eastern Security Network that was set up by the leader of IPOB, Mazi Namdekanu. First of all, I respect that man, like seriously, I so much respect namdi kanu i mean look at somebody who is on exile all right who is in uk setting up a security outfit um i mean what all the southeast governors couldn't do all right and they are even jealous of it what they all couldn't do one man have done it he was able to gather about thousands of men gave them uniform gave them ammunition provide gadget for them but all the southeast governors are talking about 2023 election they don't really care about the lives of the people uh their citizens all just for their political interests i mean does it make sense it doesn't make sense and sometimes i tell people that um we should blame ourselves i'm talking about the youth because when this man comes out the same money your money they will use your money come back in 2023 to bribe you all right they will use your money come back 2023 bribe you to vote for them and whatsoever now one man in uk i'm talking about namdi kanu was able to set up a security outfit to protect the life of the southeasterners to protect the properties of their people but the governors of that state couldn't do anything about it and looking at it this way of recent um ever since the south is uh the eastern security network was launched um uh, i believe we have noticed that uh the killing of ipob or killings in the south is have reduced like serious because the headsmen had already um vacated the area they left because what they saw i believe their people had sent a signal to them that this man is serious it is not business as usual so you guys should come back so that is what i am seeing so i believe so far so good of recent okay even when it's happening in other places um in the southeast it has reduced all right uh the number of massacre killings uh, destroying of farmlands and so on it has reduced ever since the eastern security network was introduced by the leader of ipob i'm talking about mazi namdi kanu all right so this man here calling themselves politician i don't know what to uh i don't know what to say anymore remember uh devil man he said that the eastern security network is not recognized okay uh, the Eastern Security Network is not recognized, but I believe even when Namdi Kanu quoted the Constitution for them, many of them didn't even know. What Namdi Kanu did, the Eastern Security Network, it's all about self-defense. 
no two ways about it i mean how do you watch people from outside coming to you know destroy the properties the life of your people without as a governor doing anything about it how do you explain that so the eastern security network according to mazin namdikan when he quoted the constitution for them even most of them do not even know all right when he quoted it for them that it is all about self-defense and that is what it is all about in as much as i am not a member of ipob but i really really a lot of stakeholders all right even in the middle belt in the south and also in the east the south is a lot of them has commended namdi Kanu for setting up that security network it is not against anything amotekun is there uh the hisba is there that is uh, sharia police something like that they are there all right they are there to protect the life and properties of their people so i really don't see anything wrong if the south east should set up a security outfit it's just it's not just about security out this is more like a vigilante yes that is what i'm saying it is more like a vigilante it will help in reducing crime it will help in reducing uh, kidnapping it will also help in the, these farmers and herders clashes all right so that is what i am seeing okay guys so i quickly wanted to update you guys on what is going on in nigeria today uh being the the 28th uh december 2020 i believe uh, today it's a public holiday as well so let me know how you guys enjoyed your holiday quickly wanted to use this opportunity to wish you guys a happy new year in advance see you guys in another video